In this episode of How to Make Your Lawnmower Last a Lifetime, I'm going to show you how to winterize your lawnmower. Stick around. Hey guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear. I'm JB, giving you the best tips and tricks to survive life in and out of the garage. And remember, if you're feeling the vibe and you want to be part of the tribe, subscribe. This lawnmower needs to be safely tucked away for about the next four months. And for me, lawn season isn't over until the mower is fully shut down. And a little bit of time spent doing some preventative maintenance now will pay dividends in the spring when you go to fire it back up. Here we go, step one. This is probably the most pivotal step of them all. Emptying out the gas tank. Now some may say just put some fuel stabilizer in there and that may work okay for some people. But I'm here to tell you that I did that once a long time ago and my machine never ran right from the beginning of that season. I'm going to park this thing at the end of my garage, start it up, and let it run for about 15 minutes until it dies. Old gas gums up carburetors, and we're going to get it all out. And done. And now we're just going to give it a few pulls to see if we can restart it. Nothing left. Good. Now from a very basic standpoint, this mower is now done and ready to be stored. This is the bare minimum thing you should do. But we're not gonna stop there. For the next step, underneath the air filter compartment is the carburetor. There still may be some gas inside this carburetor bowl. I'm going to loosen up that bowl bolt and let any remaining fuel drain into the pan using this form of funnel. Only a couple of drops hiding inside there. Not too bad. Tighten her back up. I am always happy to do that just to confirm that there is nothing left inside that carburetor. Nothing left in that gas tank. Next, I'm going to take off the air filter cover and inspect the air filter. If yours is really dirty, replace it. If it's only a little dirty like this one, simply blow it out with some compressed air. I know that Jimmy from Jimmy's Garage would be proud of me for using an air tool. Then just simply close your air filter back up. Now is also a good time to change the oil. The engine is still hot, tip it over and drain out the oil. Once it's drained, I'm replacing it with 5W30 full synthetic motor oil. This mower requires 12 to 13 and a half ounces of oil. Small engines love this stuff. Giving your lawnmower a good thorough cleaning is also a great idea at this time. I pressure wash my deck out at the end of the season as stuck on grass can start rusting it out. I usually wrap the engine in a garbage bag to help keep things like the air filter assembly or the magneto from getting too wet. It's just my thing, but it seems to do the job. Once you're done, let it dry completely. This is also a perfect time to sharpen your lawnmower blades. I actually sharpen these blades right before my final mow of the season. I did a video this past season on how to sharpen lawnmower blades and I'll have that video linked down below in the description so check it out when this video is done. After I sharpen the blades, I like to protect everything underneath the deck. Quick shot of silicone or WD-40 on the deck and the blade will prevent rust and as a bonus, prevent grass from sticking in the spring. Be sure to cover your belt like I did with a simple paper towel to prevent it from slipping. Just put a piece of cardboard down when you're done to catch any drips. Next, we're gonna take this recoil here and pull it to top dead center. This here is a lawnmower piston. The piston moves up and down through the cylinder just like this. We want the piston to be at the top of the cylinder. This will prevent any corrosion by sealing off the cylinder walls in the off season. I'm going to pull this rope until I feel a lot of friction, like right there. This tells me now that the piston is at its highest point. And once it's there, I'll stop pulling on the rope. This piston is now at top dead center. I also like to pop the wheels off and regrease the axles at the end of every season. Clean off each axle and simply regrease them. There may be some grass clippings inside the rear wheel covers. Clean them out good and be sure to apply some grease to the gears as well. Red bearing grease is always a good choice. I'll have this red and tacky grease linked down below in the description. Last but not least, I'm going to spray down this mower with a protective coating. A quick shot is all it needs. Anything is better than nothing. Stable rust stop, fluid film, silicone, even WD-40 will provide adequate protection and give it one final shine up before you tuck it away. Be sure to coat the entire deck and the handlebars.
I almost don't want to tuck this more away now because it looks so good. Finally, cover it up. Think about everything you just did to this mower and everything that makes its way into your garage. Wind blows all kinds of stuff into my garage, plus a layer of dust would be all over this thing. I bought this cover for 11 bucks. I'll have a few linked down below. It's not as durable as the Time Master cover, but it is good enough. Slide it right on, place the mower in a safe spot, out of the way. Don't forget to give me one of these. For more cool garage gear content, check out my links right here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the garage.